I'm Peter X, this is Wine Notes. It's very, very early in the morning for me. I'm gonna taste the wine, which is something I don't usually uh, do. I reserve my drinking for the evenings and weekends, but special occasion, I'm gonna be tasting this wine. This one's from Germany. It's a Riesling, which is a very somewhat challenging style for many people. They don't often like to hear the words um, slightly sweet and white wine together, but I like to designate these as off dry rather than sweet white wines. There's a little bit of residual sugar. What I love about these wines is that they're very low alcohol, 9%, often even lower than that. Let's see how we taste the wine. Proper glass, tapered end, beautiful. A little bit of wine, I want to leave some room for little agitation. So first comes the agitation, then comes the appreciation. First off, you want to deal with the primary sense of sight. You, you take note of the hue and the color of the wine. In this case, it's kind of a rather light gold or straw colored wine. Then you want to take note of, uh, is it uh, occluded? Is it um, cloudy? Is it clear? In this case, it's a very lovely, clear and bright wine. And next up would be the very primary sense of the, the nose. You stick your nose right in there, right into the uh, glass. And yeah, I think we all know how to inhale through our nose. And then you just um, sort of catalog the, uh, the impressions of uh, what you're smelling. In this case, there's a lot of flint to this wine, uh, which is a mineral note, as well as maybe a bit of um, orchard fruit, um, apple and pear. Very typical uh, scents for a Riesling. Yeah, and a lovely minerality and sort of a little bit of gun smoke or flint. Not that I spent a lot of time on a shooting range, but you kind of pick up this terminology as you taste more wines. Very lovely. Uh, and then you taste the wine. This is a marvelous, simple little wine. It tells its story rather quickly. There's not much to do. Um, in terms of you know swirling it around in your mouth or making too many of those weird noises you often see people make when they're tasting wines, aerating it. And again, you take note of the quality and the sensory impressions that the wine leaves on your palate. Uh, it's important to note uh, not just the flavors, um, but also the texture. Does the wine um, have an sort of velvety elegance that just slips off the tongue is almost ephemeral? Is it more substantial and oily? In this case, uh, this wine was very simple. In the initial hit on the palate, the finish was uh, rather short, but uh, it was a uh, very nice wine. And um, the impressions of the fruit would be a lot of, uh, a, a, a little bit of exotic uh, sort of, um, maybe a little bit of uh, papaya or tropical fruit and a touch of um, sweet spice towards the end and a, a really good balance between the sweetness, the fruit, a nice amount of acidity and a, a pretty good minerality so that the wine is balanced and no element uh, takes, uh, takes precedent over any other so that the wine is kind of off kilter in any way. And then once that is all done, the more important first person subjective um, quality of the wine can come through and you can think and ask yourself, well, how did this wine make me feel? Do I like this wine? And what impressions does it uh, leave you with? Um, and then uh, you can go on and think of um, situations where you'd like to be drinking this wine ideally. Uh, in this case, um, on its own, it's perfect. And perhaps with uh, some light, light fare, um, a light 
cheese like a Wensleydale, I think, would be great, or just on its own, or with um, perhaps uh, some um, Southeast Asian food with a touch of spiciness uh, would be a great match for this wine, or perhaps something as simple as a crab and avocado salad with some some sort of uh, maybe a mango uh, thrown in there as well for good measure. But uh, these are great wines uh, for the holiday season because uh, they're fun, they're low in alcohol, and that's how I taste the wine, and there's no right or wrong way. Thank you for watching. I am assuming there's at least one viewer, and I'm Peter X, and this is Wine Notes.